So I'm back with another press on video and today I'm gonna to be trying more press ons from Shein. Y'all love these Shein press ons so we're gonna try these out and see how long they last. So this is the set. It's a really cute glittery heart, you know, perfect for Valentine's Day. And these were really, really affordable. Let me see how much I paid for these. Okay, I paid $3.23, but they're currently selling for $3.50, so really affordable. All right, okay, and it says the instructions on the back. Let's see what all comes with this. I'm trying to be a little neat. <laughs> I'm gonna just rip the package open. All right, so we got the nails, a very thin, <laughs> very thin nail file, and the sticky tabs. You know what, I think I'm gonna use the sticky tabs today. I haven't tried them out before. Well, not just by themselves. All right, so let's get this open very gently. Y'all know what got me. Are these pretty rhinestones? Okay, and they also have some, some pinky ones. Does this fit me? Mm, a little too small. Okay, so let me just kind of go through these. They fit very, very small. <laughs> I hope I'm able to find my size. Hmm. I'm trying. <laughs> Everything looks so small. All right, so these are the biggest ones. Mm, I might have to file them a little bit. Let's see. Okay, that one fits. Oh, I do want to kind of have Okay, this one fits as well. I don't know how this is gonna work because that is too small. I want it to be able to make a heart. Hmm. This is the only downfall with like <laughs> very cheap press-ons is that they make them, it seems like for children. I wanted to be able to do like the little heart thing because you know when you when you put these together it makes a heart but I can't really find my size. Ugh, just messed up my plans. <laughs> okay. The only way it's working is if I do the pinky and the ring finger. Will that even work? it this way yeah that's what I'm gonna have to do so pinky ring finger and that was the index and then I have to find a bigger might just have to be one of these ombre ones oh I hate these sizes I want to say the last that I tried was it this small Okay, you're probably gonna have to do that for the middle finger. Hey, but if you got small fingers, like this set is perfect for you. Look at that, very small. Yeah. All right, so I got my sizes picked out. Barely. I changed my mind. I'm gonna use nail glue only because the nails are very like, I wanna say transparent. You will see the sticky tab, you know, through the nail and I don't want that. So next time. <laughs> all right, so I pretty much already did the prep and all of that. I'm gonna wipe my nails down one more time with some alcohol. I have a little bit of residue left over from my makeup, so. I don't want that to get glued on and be like <laughs> under the nail the whole time I'm trying these out. All right, so we give everything a good wiping. Here we go. All right, so because this one is just slightly big for my pinky, but I want to use it because of the rhinestones, this this file is probably just for filing your natural nails. <laughs> uh, it's, 
it's so thin. <laughs> I'm gonna take my file and just make this a little smaller on the side. Being careful to not file into the pretty rhinestones. And we'll take this side in a little bit as well. And just take that little nib off while I'm here. I'm just gonna look on the back of the box. Okay, there's nothing special. It just says clean nails of any polish or oil. Select your size. That's if you were using the sticky tabs and then how to remove them. People always say soak them in warm water and that just doesn't work. I guess the young nails glue is just too strong, but any other glue I use, it's not strong enough to last. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm just going to, because I want these to look, oh, you know what? Moving ahead of myself. All right, so I don't, I don't think I need to, I'm just gonna round the corners a little bit. I kind of like this cute little square length I have on my natural nails. <laughs> but I don't want them to peek out through the nails. So I'm just gonna round them out a little bit. All right, so I'm just gonna put some glue on my nail and on the nail tip. And we're just gonna press that down. I'm gonna hold it down for about five seconds. Ooh, that is really cute. <laughs> okay, so moving on. Okay, just making sure it fits properly. Oh, wait a minute. My glue is starting to get all sticky. That sometimes happens when I don't close the glue all the way. You know, twisted the bottle and didn't fully twist it, so it gets all sticky. And it might be time for some new glue as well. No, it's still doing it. Ooh, I hate when it does. This little stickiness, ugh. I hate that, but oh well. I'll be ordering me another bottle very soon. Just gonna put some here. Especially when I work with like these opaque, I mean these like semi-transparent press-ons. I don't want like any air bubbles. Like when you get air bubbles in it, that's when it doesn't look that's when it start looking like a press on. So, I find that putting the glue on my natural nail and the nail tip kind of, you know, seals everything in and I don't get any air bubbles. Kind of like this pinky here. These nails are really cute. <laughs> really, really cute. And once again, I'm just gonna hold it down for five seconds. Yay. Oh. What? <laughs> what? And then we're just gonna put some on the middle finger and some inside of the nail tip. And hold her down for five seconds. All right, Shein. These are looking really cute. And for the pointer. It's just something about the bling that gets me every time. <laughs> and then the thumb. Hmm. Need a little more glue. This one might not come out as flawless as I want, but I'm gonna try. Okay, and finally, we're gonna hold this down for five seconds as well. I think I got a little glue on the outside. <laughs> I'm stuck to myself. <laughs> oh, I got this air bubble. Wonder if there's anything I can do. Okay, it's still liquidy in there. Okay, I'm just gonna continue to hold this down. Hopefully I can squeeze the air bubble out. I knew it just wasn't gonna be that easy. <laughs> 
<laughs> it just never just works out all the way. Like, come on. All right, it's not as big, but and you can see the air bowl. Oh, well, oh, my fingers got glue on them. <laughs> my little hack for that is just filing off the glue off my skin. We are pretty much, we're pretty much done with, oh, oh, <laughs> excuse me. Ah, <laughs> oh, that is gorgeous. Okay, so I'm just gonna file these little plastic nubs. I'm gonna file them off. Always file them off because if you don't, it automatically looks like a press on. You could put like a matte top coat over this just to ensure and secure it. But the purpose of me trying out these press-ons is to see how the actual press-ons will last. So, but yeah, y'all, these are really, really cute. Oh, let me put some cuticle oil on. The girl is ashy. I don't wanna put too much on though because we still want time for the glue to completely dry and do what it gotta do without oil squeezing in, breaking up the party. Ooh, but isn't this cute? Oh, got a little oil on you, but that's okay. The thumb, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> but the rest of them are really pretty. As far as the strength of them, they don't feel flimsy. Like I'm not able to easily bend them. Okay, but it is a little bit more flexible towards the cuticle area. You see how I'm able to bend that? It is a little more flexible, but that is so you can get that perfect shape and it kind of really forms to your nail, but the tip is, is sturdy. So we're gonna see how long these last. Y'all know how this works. I'm gonna keep these on for a week or more. <laughs> It always turns into more and we'll see how they last. This acai bowl is so good. This is my breakfast. I'm watching Emily's newest video. So I want to do an update on these nails. This is day two and we just sent the kids off to school and I noticed that I lost one. Yeah, one crystal fell off. Not bad, I guess. I mean, it's only day two, so. <laughs> and I didn't do any reinforcement or anything. This is just how the nails, you know, straight out the pack. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. All right, so I just got finished doing dishes and I thought this would be a time to do an update. So we are on day two and the crystals have not been nice to me. <laughs> As you can see, they are starting to just fall off. I'm missing three from this finger and one from the heart. Good thing I got my pictures before the crystals started falling off. Um, You know, it still feels strong. It doesn't feel like they're, you know, bending or anything like that. They still look good. Mm, so good. So I wanted to do a quick update again on the nails. We are on day four and they kind of look in a little, I wouldn't say rough as far as like, you know, the nails themselves, but the rhinestones, man, they are coming off. So yeah, 
as y'all can see, more stones have been falling off, especially on my index finger. I guess I use this one a lot to, you know, just do everyday life. And so if they're not secured well, they just pop off. Um, but that is the only downfall for the Shein press on so far. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, <laughs> there is a really giant air bubble in my thumb and it's starting to lift a little bit. So when I, when I pull it like this, it starts to lift. Yeah. But that one wasn't kind of done. <laughs> that wasn't done well to begin with. Um, but so far, so good. The rest of them are pretty sturdy. I don't sense any lifting or anything like that. What's up, y'all? So I am about to walk into the hair salon to get my hair did. Um, I feel like every time I do these press on updates, I'm like at the hair salon. But like I told y'all before, I'm trying to keep up with my hair and my hair treatments. So it is what it is. So I wanted to do a little update on these nails. You know, they cute or whatever. Stones are falling off. And I'm the type of person who's like, when stones start falling off, it's like, okay, it's time to do my nails. Um, But yeah, as y'all can see on my index fingernail, almost all the stones <laughs> fell off. The hearts are a little bit more secure, but they're falling off as well. As far as any of them feeling loose, none of these feel loose. The thumb, however, does have this huge air bubble lifting. It's gonna probably pop off sooner or later. I also noticed that, um, you know, it just, I guess it just seems to be the common thing with press-ons that the shape starts to round itself out. So it, it is starting to feel a little smooth, a little rounded. <laughs> but we are on day five, so yeah. gonna sneak off to the mall I haven't been to Opry Mills in a minute so going for a little shopping oh let me lock my car the weather is so nice today though oh they finna have some fun <laughs> I'm gonna uh, check out the polo store. It's pretty much the only reason why I come to the mall. Well, come to this mall. Y'all know I love my polo. Yeah. All right, so I am not seeing anything in here that I like. <laughs> I always come here for like the dresses. I saw this one though. I think I might get this. Mm, a little sweater dress, you know. I think this would be cute. This is actually a small and it's like super big. <laughs> oh yeah, let me show y'all my outfit of the day. I got that new Sailor Moon set that was at Target. You know I had to get it. <laughs> it has a really cool graphic on the back, but I'm not sure if I can, if I can show you because it's in the back. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm gonna grab this dress and uh, we are gonna get out of here. I gotta get home to pick the kids up. All right, so I didn't end up getting that dress in polo. Um, I don't know. I just feel like I was forcing it. So I'm gonna go ahead into coach and see if I see anything. Ooh, but they got some cute stuff in the display. I wonder if that bear's for sale. Some of y'all don't know, but I love collecting bears. Ooh. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get this. This is so cute. And I will enjoy this way better than the polo dress. Ooh. Oh. And it even comes with like this little pink cherry charm. Mm, I'm sold. All right, so I didn't end up getting a bear because it's like $700. Um, but I did get like these little bag charms. 
I got the heart bag, of course, and then I got this. Isn't this cute? All right, so that was a fun shopping trip. Now I need to go home. All right, so it is Monday and I am so tired, y'all. We just dropped the kids off at school and I think I'm probably gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna try not to take a nap, but I'm tired. But anyway, I am on day, I think it's eight of these press-ons and I'm ready to take them off. I think they look pretty bad for, you know, my standards. <laughs> Um, but I'm gonna show y'all some of the stones have came off well a lot of them have come off and this one is starting to get a little loose I feel like this one you know if I work it enough it'll pop off but yeah as you can see you know the heart is uh <laughs> it's sad <laughs> this middle finger though is this is this is on here this is on here really good but yeah this one's starting to lift a little bit I'm surprised this one didn't come off. It's like all the way lifted around the cuticle area. But as far as the shape, it is starting to round out. Like this one is pretty much an almond, okay? <laughs> um, Yeah, they round out a lot. So I guess, you know, if you wanted to make them last longer, putting gel top coat or something on it may help, but this is how they look and wear straight out the pack. All right, so I'm just gonna be chilling today. Do y'all do oil pulling? I've been trying it out to see. I've been hearing good things about it. You know, I like to try out stuff. And I've been doing it probably, I don't know, a couple weeks now. All right, so I'm gonna um, start my oil pulling. <laughs> So is anyone else like me and love all the Valentine's merch that come out during this time of year? I love the Valentine's Starbucks cups. This one is from Japan and it has this cute little heart on it. So cute. And of course, you know, this is, this is old. I got this from Victoria's Secret, but it got hearts all over it. I got the matching blanket. I just love hearts. <laughs> but today is a snow day. Well, uh, inclement weather day. And so the kids are home and usually during the day, it's like my peaceful time, but school's closed, so. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to do my final update on these nails because they coming off. Like literally coming off. <laughs> we are on day nine and I think this is it. Still, I am shocked that this one has not came off, but I mean, you know. With enough work, it will come off. But this one is definitely about to come off. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this off before I hurt myself or get caught on something. Uh, but yeah, uh, she in. 350 nails. Uh, not too bad, I guess. They still on here. <laughs> oh, look at you. You so cute. Say hi. Get your tongue back in your mouth. <laughs> so mommy just cooked a meal for like the first time in like three, four, seven years. <laughs> I, I wouldn't tell nobody this. <laughs> but this was her meal. I did a little bit of grilled chicken and some Alfredo. <laughs> Broccoli. <laughs> Even hubby ate it. Was it good? It was good. It was good. But see, I wouldn't tell nobody this. <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't tell nobody you've been, you been ordering in for us for, for two, three, something, something years. <laughs> well, they know that you're the cook. Used to be. I'm the nail artist. You're the cook. Used to be. DoorDash cook. Yeah. DoorDash. <laughs> DoorDash. <laughs> Not sponsored. <laughs> Who would they should be? <laughs> um, But I just want to do a quick update. Come on, Maya. Let's do a nail update. We are on day, I think this is nine. And, uh, oh, yeah. Remember I told y'all in the last update how that nail was loose? Well, it popped off. <laughs> Uh, thumb is still on. As y'all can see, this one popped off and it doesn't look like any more. <laughs> All right, you gotta get down. <laughs> Come on. Oh, Come on. Yay. And uh, surprisingly, this one is still on, even after yeah, this one popped yeah. off. All right, that's it for the nails. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> 
So this morning I got another acai bowl. This one is from Smoothie King and I think I like this one better. It was this other place around me. Sometimes when they get too busy, they turn off their DoorDash delivery. So that's how I ended up with Smoothie King and I actually like this one better. I got the mangoes and strawberries and bananas and blueberries and granola and honey. Mm, it's so good. So yeah, I'm just having a little bit of breakfast before I have to get my eye exam. All right, I'm off to see the eye doctor. Please, I need you to be able to see. Wish me luck. <laughs> luck. Oh wait, I need to go grab my eyes. All right, I need to take these with me. They ain't really been hitting like they should. I'm gonna stuff you in there. Who the Mustang? <laughs> you, don't, you don't even know your your uh kid's mascot at hey, school. Hey, 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 don't, don't do me like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. All right, get out. Gotta go get some new eyes. <laughs> oh, that was foul sad. Say, how you don't even know the light Man, switches? It's you it's put like, them in here. It's like 60 light switches in this house. <laughs> <laughs> you remember them all. I don't. All right, okay. Bye. The parking lot is so full at the eye doctor. I had to park in the McDonald's parking lot. <laughs> I'm gonna leave my drink in the car. Hopefully they don't do no towing. Ooh, it's cold, it's cold. So my contacts are out now and I just got done doing some testing and your girl cannot see, okay? <laughs> So yeah, that was my little testing area. I still gotta see the doctor, but I'm just waiting in the waiting area. But these are my natural eyes. And I can't see. <laughs> Got some new contacts, they looking good. Your girl can see now. <laughs> All right, so we made it to day 10 and <laughs> this is what the nails are looking like. I was so sure this one was gonna pop off, but it just refused. It refused to pop off, but this one had no problem. But yeah, as I was showing y'all, the crystals just continue to fall off. Oh, and I'm also starting to see lifting in there as well. But you know, for 10 days and $3.50, you really can't be mad, right? All right, so I'm about to take these off. These look really bad. <laughs> I hate that I even had to go get my eyes checked with these nails, but you know, that is life. But if you enjoy press ons and wanna see more, check out these videos right here, and I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.